All right, got another successful setup, sorta. This is a carved version. Note the E didn't quite make it. I think my um, uh, sheesh, the bit was a little too big. I wanted it to cut out nice, which it did everything except for that little spot. See that little piece right there down below is a problem. So maybe a little smaller bit will work on that using this program, Easel. And uh, it did a nice job in this is uh, 0 0.075 or two millimeters thick plywood and then uh, let's see here using laser gerbil I got using the same picture I got this so on the same same wood the only problem that I ran into is that I didn't figure that and I, I had to ask for help on the, I'll show you that too Let's see, on Facebook, let's, there is, um, bump -ba -dum, bump -ba -dum, bump -ba -dum. Sane Smart has a users group that are very helpful, and I put up a question somewhere in there, but there's a lot of guys on here that's doing all kinds of stuff that, uh, you know quite a few that know what they're doing and even more that like me that don't know and is learning um, but there's a lot of good info on this this site so um, getting help from them learning that I kept running multiple um, passes and what I wasn't doing was changing the depth of the laser going in and I had it going over it too fast so it didn't take enough time or wasn't a, a give, I wasn't allowing enough time to actually burn through the wood it was just scorching it so after I figured that out, it took, uh, you know, after, let's see, first I was, I did about 30 passes, only scorching it. Then I did three passes, slowed down, and it cut right through. So I think if I'd have done it proper, wouldn't have taken more on max of maybe four, five at the most cuts. So, and if uh, you don't know what I'm saying, is going over the letters, each and you know, every one of them, all the way across for one pass. So, there we are. Uh, I'm starting to enjoy it. It's always nicer when um, things work. It's taken me quite a while. I hope that you, uh, uh, and somebody has learned something out of this. But, um, of these three, well, of course, on um, YouTube, um, let's see if I can do, um, let's see, 3018, <clears throat> Pro CNC, and this guy. Where are you at? There you go. This guy, James Dean Designs, has got a lot of good info and has helped out quite a bit. 
And as you can see, there's quite a few, you know, beginner uh, YouTubes about the same thing and all. And I've watched most of them. Some of them good. Some of them not so good. Some of them that just don't. I like this guy. CNC router can make $10,000 per month. Yeah, you can if you got $10,000 to buy the equipment um, and do everything there. Yeah, you could you could probably make your money back pretty quick, I guess. But it's that initial investment where I have this 3018 Pro CNC. So that one's the most popular, I guess, because it's the least expensive, too. And you can still do a lot. I don't think I'm going to make too many add-ons as some are doing, um, changing uh, up to bigger motors and wider, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a couple comments if you got into this, if it can help you, if it's helping you. Uh, if it's not helping you, if you need me to move on to something else or do some whatever, I greatly appreciate it. And Semper Fi.